just having a look at the squad and mo most of our players are like between the ages of 29 and 31, which is, when did that happen? Jamal Lewis is 30 next year. How, how, how? Hello everyone and welcome back to more Norwich City Bouncing Back and it is the Europa League quarterfinal. We've been here before. It did go quite well last time and we need it to go well again today because we are not qualifying for the Champions League through the league. So this is our only real hope. Real Sociedad are the opponents. We'll play both legs today, either side of a game against Everton. Let's see what's been happening since last time. Not all that much has happened since the fantastic 5-1 recovery win against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Three league games. We have only won one of them, but it was a good one to win. We beat Wolves 1-0 Adam Eder with the goal. Hopefully he'll stop being upset soon. We then lost again, this time to Manchester United away from home. We took the lead again, and then they came back and won 2-1, which is fantastic. And then our first home defeat of the season against Arsenal would have been really good to win this one because they are, well, they were level on points with us. So a, a win there would have been really helpful, but it's not to be. It was probably our worst performance of the entire season in any competition. I mean, we're, we are, we were all right. We did create a few chances, but not really a, a great day for anyone involved. And Arsenal ran out 2-0 winners. And this is the league situation then. Well, I say they were on level points with us. That they have become on level points with us because of that win, but they have got a game in hand. So that gives them, of course, the advantage. It's still really close, though. We've played more games than City and Liverpool as well, but we're only three points behind them. You never know. It is still possible to get in the Champions League. I just think it's probably unlikely. If we'd beaten Arsenal, I think we'd probably have a great chance. But alas, not to be. The gap back to Everton in seventh is now only nine points. So... If we can beat them today, that would be really appreciated as well. Just want to check the Cups. So Man United won the League Cup, which means that seventh place will be good enough for European football, but obviously it's Euro Cup too. We're not interested in that. We don't want that. The board are not going to be happy if it's that. So actually the FA Cup is quite interesting. Arsenal, Leicester, Liverpool and Manchester United. So Leicester, who are probably going to get relegated. Yep, yeah, they are rock bottom of the league. But let's see if we can win the Europa League proper. That would be a good way to do it. The team is... Not looking great. We've done another team meeting. Perk them up a little bit. Hopefully it helps for this one. I'm there's just a lot of players out of form. When you we were so good at the start of the season, we had such a brilliant start. It has kind of not been a complete disaster, but it's definitely trailed away a little bit. But Dean Henderson continues in goal then. Lewis, he's nearly 30, but he's still at left back. Robert Smith and Aaron's, of course, the rest of the defence. Harry Winks retains his place at the base of midfield. Lewis Cook has not been good lately. This is a position I'd like to sort of get someone else in. For I've just done some scouting. There's literally nobody of any note be up below the age of about 30 that would potentially be considered an improvement. Chowdhury and Madison remain ahead of him. Solanke on the left-hand side. David Brooks on the right has also not been particularly good after his electric start of the season. And Murray McCunney gets the nod up front because why not? We had the international break as well and we won both matches with England beating Armenia and Scotland, which reminded me to play Murray McCunney because he came off the bench for Scotland. He didn't score then. He's probably not going to score today, but damn it, I want to see if he can. Real Sociedad, familiar opponents. We've played them multiple times throughout the save. Probably our most frequent European opponent, I think. But anyway, um, they've got Yuri Tielemans now, so that's an improvement for them. It's going to be difficult, but we we need a win, really. We, we need a win. If we can win this, as we've said, this plus the Everton game, if we win them, then the rest of the matches between now and the end of the season, theoretically, are quite winnable. Got to actually win them, though, and this is the kickoff highlight, and Harry Winks just kicks Chernoglu, which is, that's, the, that's an encouraging start, but not actually in terms of us having a chance. It's still them. It's still Sociedad coming forwards. Are we going to do anything about this, or are we just going to let them let them score? We've nearly let them score. A campus heads wide. Are we going to do anything? That would be... That would be nice. Working a chance from a throw. And Max Aaron's with a shot. He's not the one you really want to be taking the shot from there. Clearly last time, there was just far too much excitement. It was There was too many goals. And now we're back to traditional ways, familiar ways of nothing happening. David Brooks, not seen him for a while. On the right-hand side, pulls the, the ball back all the way to Harry Winks. So we're going to take a shot here. Madison, Chowdhury. No, we're just going to pass it around 
on the edge of the area and then give it away. There's about three of you had a chance there to at least attempt an effort on goal. But why would you bother with that? If they score from here, which they have done, then well done, boys. Really good. I mean, the opportunity we had there, there was there was at least two or three opportunities to pull the trigger. And then it, what's the worst that was going to happen? It would go behind for a goal kick or a corner. Instead, because of their indecisiveness, suddenly we're losing. I'm actually going to throw the water bottle. I'm just, it's not good enough. Far from pleased. Madison and Brooks, both of them have been awful. They have been playing lazily. We will tell them off, whether they like it or not. But we'll go a bit more positive. Obviously, this is the away leg, so it's not the end of the world. But I would like an away goal, and I would like to not be... 2-0 down, but we don't get what we like, do we? Right, Madison probably having his worst game of the entire season. We'll get him out of here. Brooks also seems to just be really bad at the moment. I'm not sure entirely why. Since he's come back from his injury, he's just been kind of useless. And then Murray McCunney, he's on a 6.3. So that was a good decision to start him. At least there'll be no distractions if we get knocked out of the Europa League. Are they going to make it 3-0? Yes, they are. So... Well, we're not winning the Europa League this year. I've already done the team meeting before this. I can't do another one. They won't They won't want to do another one for at least a few more defeats. I mean, that is... Chernoglu there. We, we fouled him in the opening highlight. I thought this is, going to be, this is going to be a good performance. And now he's just fallen on the floor and made it 3-0. Right, it's an hour gone and it's been one of the worst performances ever. We can't even take any more players off. I've already changed everything already. I mean... Do we, we just go very attacking because, like, literally, we might as well, right? If we can get a goal back, then you never know. You do never know. The long throw from Chowdhury caused issues, mainly for our attacking players, because they didn't know what to do with it. And they, is this going to be 4-0? Mepham actually does some defending, but Winks doesn't bother to do any passing. He's in behind. Uh, he's... He's gone wide. Take that, pact, see? Genuinely awful. I mean, Mr. Richards, that was the worst attempt of a sliding challenge I've ever seen. Ravella, go to the shot. It, it should be about 5-0 saucier, Dad. I don't think we've actually done it. We've apparently had four shots on target, but I haven't seen them. Marcus Edwards is injured. Solanke's tired. The amount of players out there on a low rating is alarming. The centre-back's actually the best performers. Chris Meppham nearly scores. It's not been a particularly good game from from anyone really right we got another highlight there's the, the the good thing is the game is nearly over if we can make it 3-1 then we do genuinely have a chance but we we got to get that away goal marcus edwards has done it has had a pretty terrible season and is probably going to be one player that needs to be replaced in the summer ironically at the age of 28 he's actually one of our youngest players at this point but good work from jamal lewis and then edwards ghosts in we've got an away goal there might look, there might be a chance in the second leg. It's going to need to be a mighty performance though. Real Sociedad three, Norwich City one. I'm not happy with your performance out there. Can't make you come into training because there's not many days until the Everton game. To be honest with you, as we mentioned this last time, I wouldn't be entirely against getting knocked out because there is a genuine chance that we can qualify for the Champions League through the league, right? And that would certainly be more straightforwards if we were not in Europe. We do have a major issue with striker though. Murray, I mean, <sighs> such a great start to the season. We gave him the nod, made him first choice, and he's just not been he's not been good enough. He's not been good enough, but I believe, I believe he can do it. So Liverpool and Man City have both won, so they're now both six points clear of us. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to be Champions League through either route at the, at the moment, to be honest, but let's just see if we can solidify qualification for the Europa League at the very least. Oh, yeah, we did also have Regen Day as well, and a few a few names, potentially. We've got Shane Clemo here, winger. I mean, it's, there's some nice things. Apparently, he's, he's five stars. I don't really know whether I believe it. And also the wonderfully named... Yubong Salami, who, yeah, he's he's a left back, so some nice attributes there too. He apparently wants to declare for Nigeria though, so let's sort him out here. Um, you're going to be a star player. You won't have to travel as much, and we need you to take us to the next level. That sounds good to him. Well, we'll see what he thinks. Right, Everton. I will bring you the goals of this one. Um, hopefully, there's goals for us and not for the not for the opposition. Well, we've made a great start. To be fair, this has all come from uh, for five minutes in, and uh, literally this chance has come from Max Aaron's playing a simple short throw in, 
where there was a man directly in front of him who plays for Norwich, just chuck it to an Everton player instead. The guy didn't even move. He just he just aimed for him. I can see the changes have made a big impact. We've given, we've given them a penalty. It's um, it's two 0 It's absolutely terrible once again. Or I mean, look at the ratings at the moment. By the way, absolutely. Awful. This is still the first half. It is a disgrace. Even worse than against Sausage. At least we did something against them. We have not done anything. Every single player has been a complete joke. Apart from apparently Dean Henderson, who's conceded two goals. Right, bit of a lifeline maybe. Jamal Lewis, bit of endeavour from a player. Good to see. Actually makes an effort. Go in the goal. I mean, yeah, that's what we like. Well, it was a lifeline that we just decided to just ignore and uh, just drown because simple, simple counter-attack from Everton. Calvert-Lewin, no, no attempt to get anywhere near him from anyone. So we lost 3-1 again. Um, Dean Henderson's got an 8.0 and we've lost 3-1. David Brooks and James Madison are both getting fined. Um, I'm making him come into training. That wasn't good enough. And uh, as you can see from the league table, Everton, when it comes up, Everton there, six points behind us. Six points behind us. We haven't lost it. We didn't lose a game until January. We didn't lose a single game until January. And then we've lost six six it's absolutely awful and yet also completely predictable we were so good we were so good we looked unbeatable we were fantastic and then no no we've just thrown it all away every single thing i mean just look at some of these recent performances recent ratings you're getting a week's fine when you consider how much you and james are both on that was Nothing short of a disgrace. At least the running is kind, but if we're going to play like that, we're not going to get any more points. Right, major shake-ups to the team then, because, yep, yeah, well, you saw by the defence there for Henderson, Lewis, and Padu comes in. Mepham and Aarons, Cook, Chowdhury, and Ryan Davis is going to be the midfield. Cook and Chowdhury have been awful, but so have Phillips and Winks, so there we go. Marcus Edwards on the right, because he at least has scored a goal today. Uh, Aaron Hitchman comes in on the left, because why not? And Mario McCartney starts up front as an advance forward on attack. We'll play all three of our best regen prospects. Maybe that youthful energy can kick some life into our season, which was going so well. I guess it sort of gradually declined, the sort of nil-nil against Blackburn Rovers, but has now just decided, you know what, uh, we've had enough. We've had enough. It, it started off too well, if anything, and now they're just like, yeah, no, let's not bother doing anything. But we have theoretically got a chance. We're at home. Our away form has been the real major issue. Um, that's not a good start. Luckily, it goes over, hitting the bar. Not great. We've got the, we've got the lifeline of that away goal. Two 0 We'll go through. So that's that's doable, but not if we defend like we just have been. Right. There's no sense sitting here on balance. We'll go po positive at least for now. We'll go attacking in a minute if need be. Let's just come on, create a chance, get some goals, get the goals flowing. Two 0 three 0 four 0 Job done. You know, we've just lost two games, three one. So. To a, to a mid-table Spanish side and uh, relatively average English side. So it's not encouraging. Lewis Cook plays it forward. Can we can we see a goal, please? Murray McCartney, I want him to score. He's a bit further forward. Maybe that's what he needs to do. Max Aaron's cross in. It's in. Ryan Davis, one of the regens, has scored. This, this is what we need to do. Never mind signing new players. We've got the youngsters. Give them a chance. Bit of life. A bit of movement. A bit of passion. Aaron's, he's still... He's in his 20s still. Ryan Davis with a good finish. Fourth of the season. 1-0. Right, if we can just score another one and then not concede, then that will be fine. But unfortunately, Sociedad, they'd quite like to go through themselves. So they're going to be attacking as well. An away goal for them. And I'd say maybe not quite good night, but it's certainly much more difficult than if we could just keep keep a clean sheet and also go and score as many more goals as we can. That would be really good. This is looking very ominous. I'm just, I'm talk, I'm wittering away here because this has a goal written all over it, the way they're set up here. Um, I mean, it is a goal. Is it offside or is it in a way, is it an own goal? It is it's apparently offside. We're going to check it though. That didn't look particularly offside. I reckon this could be given. It's actually been ruled out. Okay, good. That's That's a warning sign, but it's also good. Throw in, Max Aarons finds a teammate this time. It's Marcus Edwards. His pace is not quite what it was. His injury last season has affected him. He seems to have maybe won a penalty there. I don't know 
if that's going to be given either. VAR heavily involved in this early stage. It is a penalty, right? Who's taking it? Because I have no idea. Madison's not playing. Ali's not playing. Um, I've paused it. It's Marcus Edwards. I can't even change it. It's not come up with the thing. Well, he's going to take it. Let's hope he can score it. Marcus Edwards does score it. It's 2-0. We're back in this. don't think I've ever seen him take a penalty before, but, uh, well, very, very confident from him there. Composed. Now, what do we do? Do we keep it on positive in the hopes we get a few more goals and make it much more difficult for them, or do we take it off and just try and contain this? We're going to stay on positive for now. That's As soon as I say that, they're going to have a highlight, are they? Of course, an away goal for them makes life, well, much harder for us, I suppose. In this, we would just need to get another one, and then that would be extra time, and... Yeah, just let's just make it 3-0. That I'll be more comfortable at 3-0. Again, patient build up from uh, from Saucy Dan. Very very ticky tacker. I don't like it. I like a bit more smash and grab type stuff. We we smashed and grabbed there. Lewis wins it well. Ryan Davis, first goal scorer, racing forwards. He's uh, he's already making a good name for himself. He's done well when he's played this season. He just needs to play more. Obviously, what a ball and what a header. From Hamza Chowdhury. We've got to watch that again. That was absolutely fantastic. It's 3-0. The run from Davis. And, I mean, what a run. Picks the ball up. So positive. Puts the ball in. What a pass that was. And Chowdhury, the afro doing all the work there, heading it in. It's 3-0. Right, I am loving it. I'm loving it. We're 4-3 up. This is good. An away goal for them at this stage would not be a win. It would be extra time. Do we keep on positive? Do we make the change? Hitchman's not done as well as uh, Davis has. Ryan Davis staking a claim to maybe start next season. I think we will probably keep James Madison, but maybe Deli Alley, someone the kind of player we might look to move on to give more space for Davis to play into. Remember what we do in the second half, actually. I'm, I'm very pleased with the performance. Let's keep it up. Hitchman's not playing especially well. He's not especially fit. We might try Madison on the left-hand side. That's probably a foolish idea, but having his set pieces could help. We got a, another free kick in. It's nearly in from Mepham. We're still on positive, which is obviously a risk, but if we can get another one, 4-0, then you've got to be quite confident, really. Maybe Lewis Cook controlling it well. Ampadu has done okay so far. Ryan Davis, beautiful ball forwards. Hitchman, I was going to take him off. He's hit the post. I thought that was going to go in. Super unlucky from Aaron Hitchman. We have absolutely dominated this this match, to be fair. Um, and, well, we, we're still going. Hitchman retains possession well. Back to Lewis Cook. Let's just get another one. Don't do anything stupid. Max Ahrens going forwards. He's, he's, I don't even know where the ball went. Did it go? It seems to have gone the other side of the goal. Right, Hitchman is tired. Um, we've got... Solanke on the bench, we've got Buendia, we've got James Madison. What do we do in this situation? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Solanke because just because Madison on the left didn't really ever seem to work particularly well. Less than 20 minutes to go. We're st we're still going for this. Chowdhury, long throw, find Solanke. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Nearly, nearly four. Coming up to the final 10 minutes. Marcus Edwards is now a bit tired. Let's take him off. He's done well though. Do we bring on Buendia or do we bring on James Madison? Who do I trust the most? Who do I trust the most? I, I don't know. I'm going with Buendia. That's probably a mistake, but I'm going with Emi Buendia. And then I think we're in the final 10 minutes. We're going to we're gonna shut this down. They're going to obviously now go for it, but we have into injury time. Three minutes left. We've got one more sub. I'm not making any more subs because if they score, it goes to extra time. And they haven't scored. And somehow we've recovered that. What a performance from Ryan Davis, in particular, who is going to be starting the next league game. That's for sure. How have we done that? We've made it through to the Europa League semi-final. And is that is that the season saved? Didn't even do a team meeting. Didn't even do that. Well, we did. It didn't work. And the good thing about Ryan Davis is, by this point, he is now club trained. So Todd Cantwell wants to leave. To be honest, Todd, well, he's, he's fine. He's fine now. Probably can go anyway. But what a recovery that was. Unfortunately, we're going to have to play Arsenal in the semi-final, which will be next time. I'm not... Uh, I mean, we could have had uh, Arsenal. That's going to be tough. All we can do, though, is give it a go. But as I said, yeah, that's going to be both legs next time. Semi-final of the Europa League once again. But this time, 
it's a lot, lot, lot tougher. We've got two games in between Bournemouth and Brentford, which you would hope we would win. Let's carry that momentum forwards, and you never know against Arsenal. You never know. But that is going to be that for today. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe as well, so you don't miss what happens in the next part of the season. Is it going to be Champions League through one way or the other? Or is it going to be Europa League? Or is it going to be Euro Cup 2? Or is it going to be nothing? I think it's going to be Euro Cup 2 at worst, right? But then the board want us to get in the Europa League, so that's they're not going to be happy with that but anyway thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time we're only stable well how's that when's that happened oh dear not again